Chris. After nearly two decades of hard work, they can finally start to see the finish line. The local team of volunteers restoring a World War II era steam locomotive is showing off their progress this weekend and sharing the plans for the historic train. Hey, this is a really big steam locomotive. The Santa Fe 2926 has been a passion project for dozens of volunteers for a long time. Well, it seems like about 452 years, but actually we, we got it in 1999 and got it over here to this site to do repairs in 2002. More than 160,000 volunteer hours and $2.6 million later, it's almost back to its full glory. And she's one of a kind. And it's just, there's a magic about her. There's, it's hard to pinpoint it exactly, but she's, she's a lady and she's a beast in her own right. And I can't wait to see her run again. Completed in 1944, this locomotive once traveled between Kansas City and San Diego through Albuquerque, then lived in Coronado Park. We've been putting her back together. It's time to meet her. It's hard, it's heavy, it's dirty, it's greasy. It's really interesting, it's kind of fun. And it's expensive. As the New Mexico Steam Locomotive and Railroad Historical Society, the group behind the restoration project, starts to see the finish line, they welcomed anyone interested in their work to take a look. You know, this is a really important piece of our history as, as the state of New Mexico and as a country. They hope to fire up the boiler for the first time later this year. If all goes as planned, she'll begin taking four to 500 passengers on excursions from Albuquerque through Glorieta Pass to Las Vegas, New Mexico in 2018. We haven't met her, so to speak. Everyone says a steam locomotive has its own personalities. Coming from personal experience, every steam locomotive does has its own personality, and we don't know her yet. And there, there it goes again. Now, the steam engine is the only one of six remaining that will ever make it back out on the rails. Visitors can stop by to check it out every Wednesday and Saturday. We've posted details on always on krqe.com.